and as was expected another day another chinese model from another chinese company this time tencent has dropped this translation model which comes packed with an another ensemble model which does the translation in this video we are going to install this hanjuan mt7 billion from tencent on our local system and we will check out how it supports the translation in multilingual 33 languages across the globe this is fahad mirza and i welcome you to the channel this is not the first time when a Chinese company has come up with a translation model. Quen has already done a really, really good job with their Quen 3 multilingual translation or MT model. And now Tencent has thrown their head in the ring. Not only that, they have also come up with an ensemble model, which I will be covering in next video. The translation model is used to translate source text into the target language while the ensemble model integrates multiple translation outputs to produce a higher quality result but we will be testing it out if you are interested in checking out the different languages it supports this is a list of languages from their technical report and you can see the representation is from across the globe from europe to africa from Southeast Asia to regional languages in China and Pakistan and India, Central Asia and the list goes on and on. on. So let's install it. I am going to use this Ubuntu system. I have one GPU card NVIDIA RTX A6000 with 48 GB of VRAM. I'm starting by creating a virtual environment with Konda. If you're looking to rent a GPU on very good price, you can find the link to Mast Compute in video's description with a discount coupon code of 50% for a range of GPUs. Let's go back and that is done. And now we need to install the, all the prerequisites here. Now, you need to make sure that you install, uh, sorry, not this one. You need to install the transformers with a recent version and it is optimized for version 4.56. Let me paste that command here. My copy paste is struggling today. So there you go. So this is a transformers version you, you need to install. And it is getting installed while it installs it. Let me also introduce you to the sponsors of the video who are iGent. That is the world's first multi-agent workforce desktop application, empowering you to build, manage and deploy a custom AI workforce that can turn your most complex workflows into automated tasks. And now let's download the model. And the model is being downloaded. There are four shards of it. And the model is downloaded. Let's now do the translation. So in this prompt, I'm asking you to translate the segment, which is this one into all the 33 languages, which um, I showed you earlier in its technical report. So I'm just going to make sure that all the languages are visible. As you can see, they, there are a lot of languages around 33. And I have also added a couple of them which are not in this um, technical report. So let's run this.
and the model is generating the output let's check the vram consumption so it is consuming wow close to 32 gig of vram for a translation model in 7 billion anyway we will see what the quality of output is and there you go the response has come if you are that native language speaker please help me out and check that if your language is represented correctly so this is a sentence clinging to the past is like trying to hold on to smoke the harder you try the faster it slips away so it is um, not an easy one it is quite nuanced sentence now google translate tells me that most of the languages have done pretty well for example um, you know look at this urdu that um, this is perfect really really perfect and indonesian looks really good even telugu the indian regional language from south looks pretty good to me turkish filipino tagalog and then the chinese dialects look pretty good to me and i'm just checking few more languages uh, like this Kurdish and then Uzbek, Amharic, Malagasy. Um, I'm very, very sort of uh, happy to see Uyghur language here, which is, I guess, from uh, a very far part of uh, China. So looks pretty good to me. Uh, what Google Translate tells me, of course, the font is not there. But if you are a Uyghur, first, thank you for uh, dropping by to the channel. And please also confirm if your translation is correct. And then rest of the languages look pretty good to me but again i would take your advice as you would be the expert if you are that native language speaker okay next up i'm going to test this prompt and this is quite a nuanced prompt if you think about it you see i'm using this uh, polysemy like the board's decision to table the motion now we are not talking about furniture here right and the board is not the blackboard or any other mode and we're also motion is another type of motion then we have some idiomatic expression like cop out because it doesn't really translate in most of the languages let's see how model deals with it and then there are some cultural legal concepts like parliamentary procedure terminology may, may not exist in all cultures if you know what i mean and then there is a subtle tone ambiguous pronouns reference register mixing and all that stuff let's see if model is able to distinguish all this context dependency it could if it could handle idiomatic expression and then maintain the sentence subtle critical tone let me uh, let's wait and it takes a bit of a time by the way around four to five minutes to get it translated in all the languages and there you go so if you look at the responses most of them i think it has got them uh, pretty right there are a few differences and mistakes here and there but look i think uh, for most of the languages which it supports it has done pretty good for example look at spanish it looks pretty good french looks good arabic looks good bengali and a lot of other languages are good even urdu looks very idiomatic seriously very very high quality swahili looks good and then Korean, Persian, Italian, Ukrainian, Malayalam. I'm just scrolling through. Please check your language and then let me know. Some of the language it couldn't do, like Amharic and few others. Even it can do Saraiki, which is a regional language. And Uyghur. Good stuff. So look, very impressed by Hanjuan MT. I think Koher is in a deep trouble because Koher, which is a close, mostly not close source, I would say. Many of their models are also uh, open weight, but the license is quite uh, restrictive. But this one, just have fun. This is such an open model and you can use it anywhere. Check it out. Let me know what do you think. Please like the video and subscribe. And please also consider becoming a member as that helps a lot. Thank you for all the support.